Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the new caveman video show. Today, I'm going to talk about the 11-inch iPad Pro versus the 12.9-inch iPad Pro. The toughest decision second to choosing your starter Pokemon would have to be choosing between the 11-inch and the 12.9-inch iPad Pros. It has been the most difficult fortnight so far, but I finally made up my mind on which model to keep and which model to return. So now, let us cue to the intro music. Let us talk about productivity. The 12.9 inch iPad Pro takes the cake here with a much larger screen real estate that is more suitable for multitasking and whole day viewing. The 11 inch on the other hand is more cramped to be working on the entire day. Also, in the 50-50 split view mode, you are only getting compact iPhone UI for the 11 inch. That is essentially like two iPhone views when you are in split view mode. Winner of this round goes to 12.9 inch iPad Pro. Let us talk about portability. The 11 inch is the clear winner for this round. It is compact and portable and great for one handed use. The 12.9 inch in comparison is huge and unwieldy and straining to use with one hand. Granted, the 12.9 inch has already shrunken in size as compared to previous generations, but it is by no means a small device. I remember I was shell-shocked the first day using the device. It feels like you are sitting a foot closer to the TV than usual. When I need to meet a client, I gravitate towards the 11 inch and hesitate on the 12.9 inch. The 11 inch is the perfect footprint for cafes, tabletops, and airplanes. The 12.9 inch is manageable but not as compact. For the next round, we will be talking about drawing. Both 11 inch and the 12.9 inch are equally capable devices for drawing but the 12.9 inch is the better suited device. The 11 inch works like a moleskin diary for sketching your ideas on the go, while the 12.9 inch will be one where you sit down seriously to complete an art piece. In comparison, the 11 inch feels a little cramped for your hands while drawing, where you will need to zoom in and out more frequently. The 12.9 inch feels more comfortable where you can rest your hands on the tablet and you hardly need to zoom in and out. Your artwork will also look more impressive on the larger screen. For this round, we will talk about pricing. The 12.9 inch is easily $200 more than the 11 inch and it falls dangerously deep in the laptop budget range category. That is why there is so many comparison videos if an iPad Pro can replace your laptop. The 11 inch is slightly more affordable here but by no means it is a cheap device. If you do not require the larger screen, grab the 11 inch instead. Take the savings and get yourself some accessories. As you can see, both 11 inch and 12.9 inch are evenly matched. So, how do you choose? Here are some tips for your consideration. Tip number one. Which orientation do you use your tablet the most? If you are always using in portrait orientation, the 11 inch is a much more comfortable choice. If you are always using the tablet in landscape orientation, the 12.9 inch would be the better choice. 
Tip number two, consider the aspect ratio. Because both models are in four third aspect ratios, the screens are not fully utilized when watching videos. If your main concern is screen size when watching videos, you'll find that the effective difference between the two models are very small actually. Do be warned that many developers have not updated their apps for the 11-inch compatibility. Thus, you may end up with black bars on your apps and not utilizing the larger screen size. This will change over time but in the meantime, the 11-inch is at a disadvantage. Tip number 3. Consider the 80-20 principle. Do not be tempted by features you hardly use. If you are primarily a couch surfer, do not be seduced by the larger screen size. You may enjoy the rare one day you are doing office work on it. If you are desk bound most of the time, do not be seduced by the portability that you may need once in a blue moon. Make sure you are enjoying 80% of the time and not compromising 80% of the time. In conclusion, there is no wrong choice in choosing either models. Both are great, amazing devices for different user cases. Are you looking for something that is uh, great for productivity but okay for portability? Or something that is great for portability but okay for productivity? I eventually settled for the 12.9 inch for various reasons. Firstly, I've grown accustomed to the 12.9 inch screen that suddenly the 11 inch felt too small and crap. This was contrary to the first few days where I felt overwhelmed by the huge screen. The tip is you really need two weeks to grow accustomed to any new device. Secondly, the 11 inch did not feel much different from my existing 10.5 inch to justify my purchase. And the 12.9 inch takes the biggest advantage of this year's redesigns. The 12.9 inch is still a bit large for my couch surfing, but I find that all you need to do is to strip all the cases and use the device bare. It will feel light and paper thin again. Every bulk and weight matters on the 12.9 inch. I hope you find this episode useful and get your dream iPad Pro. Thank you. Please like, comment and subscribe.